Hello everybody, this is Arigeko coming to you with more The Elder Scrolls Legends. It is finally out, guys. It is finally out. The Elder Scrolls Legends Houses of Morrowind Expansion. Oh, yes. And my friends, we are here to take a look at the... The expansion. But first, I was going to, um, you know do a card review or something like that but this video I want to do some puzzles what are puzzles Adigeko? I don't know I have no idea look at this there is now we have now puzzles here and in the puzzles we have <coughs> chaos chaos training which consists of 10 puzzles we, we will give us five Morrowind packs 100 soul gems and the card back which is mm, my first card back is coming here. We have Naryu's challenge. It's a little expensive. I'm not sure what this will give us. Master some of the Morag Morag Tongs tricks. It says we'll see. But I don't know if I can do this or not because there are a lot of um, new deals in the in the store that are that seem really juicy. You'll see what I mean. And we have Divat Fierce Trials. Solve the most devious puzzles the Master Mage can devise, it says. I have no idea what these things gave me as a reward. So I'll probably be not doing these. And they are pretty expensive is another reason. But we'll go with the Chaos's training for now. First, let me show you the <coughs> offers here. We have Dagoth's Might, a 75 card theme deck with Dagoth in it. Halu Schemes, Lalu Schemes, uh, somebody please tell me how this is pronounced, whatever. Another 75 card deck for, as you can see, Agility, Willpower and Strength. This is Agility, Intelligence and Strength. We have Redoran's Onslaught, which is... Um, endurance, willpower and strength. We have Telvani Ambition, which is endurance, agility and intelligence. And Tribunal Glory, which is again willpower and uh, endurance and intelligence. So I already do not have enough gold to purchase these and the puzzles add a whole new layer this is a huge expansion but let's get started with the chaos training for now and see what this is all about Ooh, we have nice card bags chaos cosades cosades ah if it isn't our newest agent welcome to morrowind i am chaos cosades the imperial spy master I've got a series of lessons that'll get you up to speed on the local political landscape. Let's get started. Alright, boy. Here we go. Redoran in Initiation. <clears throat> House Redoran is a serious, honorable bunch with an impressive ability to rally their troops, study their maneuvers for me. Difficulty novice. Okay. So we have difficulty degrees for puzzles now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Ready when you are. Okay. Oh, this is where we learn about some new cards, eh? All right. Win this turn. All right, that's generally the idea, I suppose. So this does rally. When this card attacks, give a random creature in your hand plus one plus one. And we have these guys and charge rally. Hmm. These are not charged though. So I I know I know what to do. There's only so much that there's only so much that there's only so much there's only so much. Oh 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 almost almost made a mistake. There we go. <coughs> Easy peasy. 
Excuse me, I'm a little bit sick. First puzzle, no problem. And we get 20 soul gems. Second puzzle, Dagoth initiation again. We've heard rumors that the lost house Dagoth has returned. They may be strange looking monsters, but you have to respect their power. Alright, let's see what their powers are then. Win this turn as usual, I assume. Okay. So we have arrow in the knee, hidden trail. I'm assuming I should be pl I should play this, but this might be a trap. So let's not do something hasty. <coughs> hmm. Summon a cliff racer with charge on each lane. The opponent summons guard in each lane. Doesn't really seem very useful. Ash piercer. Deal 3 damage to a creature if you have a creature with more than f 5 power. Okay. Breakthrough drain and ward. So, I can play this, right? And then, what what's going on? Okay, I can play this, and then play no, yeah, and then play this to destroy this. But then <coughs> I don't have enough damage. So if I play this, that's also not useful, I think. Okay, I see what to do. I see, I see. Okay, so I play. Wait, does this work? No, if I play this, I will have four fours, right? I can kill these things. And then I do what? <sighs> okay, nothing is the answer. <laughs> Here, I can't do anything. Hmm. If I were to play this and kill this, would it? <clears throat> this is actually hard. Okay, let's do something then. Okay. If I play this, I can just kill it. Right. But then what? I mean, it's a good question, right? Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't work. Can I uh, retry this? Yeah, I can. Okay, so that's not the way to go then. As we can see here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I play this and this to kill this. Then I can only do two damage. And I've used all my magicka. So this seems like the only way to go with this thing here but I mean then what do I do I can only play this right so let, let me just play this all right all right just great amazing so these effectively block my every move now I can kill it with this but this will stay alive and this will stay alive and I can only kill it with this so if I hit it with that that doesn't work very well Hmm. 
No. <clears throat> there should be something I can do better here. So I did this, right? And that's it. I'm defeated. All right. If you've seen the solution by now and thinking about Adigeko, you dumbass. It's so simple. You're supposed to play this and that and do this and that and that's it. That's all. You win. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I, I cannot see it. I just can't. So this isn't an option. Let this rest for now. This might be an option because I can kill that one. But then what? I mean... <clears throat> that's pretty much useless after that. Now this works, right? But playing this and killing this and then hitting him does not really work for me. You know what guys, um, I think I'm going to cut here and go to the point where I can actually do this puzzle so I do not waste your time waiting on this just hang on a second right okay boys I think I think I have an idea but um, let me let me try it here this is this is so check check this out right what are you doing just just hang on now if I play this here this will be a five power card right yes and now I can I can get past this puzzle. This is silly. You can Okay. You know what? That's fine. Just remember guys, that card counts itself also. I didn't expect that because why didn't I expect that? I don't know. The orb cards count themselves, right? Not not all of them. Well, I guess that card does count itself. So that's how you solve the puzzle that was the only thing i i could come up with and i was going to like this is stupid but it was that whatever <clears throat> lalu initiation house lalu is constantly scheming to advance their business interests sorry sorry let me do the voice i respect that about them see if you can pick up the finer points of hatching a plot from them all right Alright, these puzzles are harder than the other ones that we've seen in the last expansion, if you know what I mean. Wind is turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have guard, <clears throat> nothing else. So glass graves, reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by one, a random card. Okay. Archer's Gambit, we know what it does. Twin Lamps Console Plot, Plot, if you play another card this turn, it will give me, okay, okay, I get it, I get it now. Lethal and Guard, so I play this, then I play Archer's Gambit, this card gets the, um, the lethal, I can kill this and hit him but I need more damage so what is what does this do? equip a friendly creature with a plus two plus two steel scimitar 
Hmm. And then there's this. So if I play... Hang on, I need... One plus... Yeah, I have exact... I have exact cost of the items. So I play this here. <coughs> and play this. Right. And this one moves him. Wait a minute, what? Does it have lethal or not now? I am confused. It should have lethal, right? Does it? Why? I don't get it. I really, really don't. Okay, just, just let's retry this. It didn't get lethal. Why didn't it get lethal? I just needed to play another card, right? If you played, okay, it says in the past tense, so I need to play the glass thing before I play this, I assume. Is that it? Did I play this first? Maybe, maybe I did. Okay, that's fine. So, I need to play this first then. Yes, yes, okay, okay, I get it now. This is also educational. Well, look at that. Let's see if we can't reach an the dream Guys, I, I want to try something here. I think you know what I'm going to try. I, I, uh, you'll see, you'll see. If you didn't get me, you'll see what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have a great idea. It'll be amazing. Okay, watch this, watch this. Okay. I think I think you should you should understand it by now. Uh, this this was an easier puzzle than the other one because I can actually understand the wording on these things. Okay. Okay, now wa watch this, watch this. Can I Okay. Ah! Give me a title for this, please. <laughs> I really don't expect it to give me a title, but it would be really cool if it did. Does it? Please do. Nah. Okay. Let's let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> Watch your back around house, Talvani. They are wizards of great renown and even greater ambition. They'll use whatever and whomever they have to. Interesting. We'll see how this goes. All right, win this turn. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So we have give a creature minus two, minus two. And after you play this action, you may sacrifice a creature to play it again. So, wild clumsy, betray again, shuckle a random creature, random enemy creature in each lane. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to be useful. Deal 2 damage to your opponent and gain 2 health. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Doing this would be logical, I think, right? Because it does damage to this, uh, the face here, but now I need to get rid of this. So I can use drain blood here. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. So I sacrifice this and and use and use drain blood on this card again and I hit him. Yes, and I use blood sacrifice and sacrifice her door and enforce her to use it again. Mm, easy. Easy game. Easy. <clears throat> The hardest puzzle was the second puzzle, and that was not my fault. I refuse to believe that was my fault. And we're getting some good amounts of uh, gems here. I think this each will give me 20 gems, and this each will give me a pack here. 
The tribunal temple is the local religion. They worship three god kings. Almalexia, Vivek and Sotasil. We know about Sotasil. They have been known to exalt those they find worthy with great power. See if you can get on their good side. See if we can, huh? Mm -hmm. Another case where attacking one of them would be ben beneficial, I was gonna say, but I just realized this isn't... This is not um, a breakthrough, this is a regenerate. Sorry about that. Okay. Orvas's Bargain. Give an enemy creature minus one, minus zero, and a friendly creature minus one, minus zero this turn. So... What I am assuming is that I need to get rid of these guys after playing this and just hit him in the face with this card. Okay. <clears throat> Ghost Gate Defender. Exalt. Deal two damage to a creature. Yes, this will kill one. And Exalt, destroy a creature with less power than the Grand Inquisitor. I see. So I need to play this first and give this. Wait, right, two damage. Okay, give this minus and give this plus. Right. Okay. So then I need to play this, we'll have to this and exalt it to kill this, and then play this and destroy this little boy. And hit him in the face. Easy peasy. Easy puzzles are easy, man. So I am assuming now we are going on to some harder puzzles, which are these down here. <clears throat> This challenge is based on a historic Redoran victory. See if you can figure out how it's done. Let's do it, baby. Let's go. Ha. I'm ready. Forty-four to one. Wow. Wow. Win this turn. Got it. You got it, man. We have infinite power. UNLIMITED POWER! Cards in my deck, cards in my hand. Okay, let's... Close call, we know. S Silent Pilgrim. Summon a random multi-attribute card from my deck. I don't know what's in my deck, that's stupid. Whatever. When you rally with no creatures in your hand, first draw Bolvin Venom from your card. So... Okay. <clears throat> Choose a card. I see. So let's start with. No, no, no. Let's not rush. Let's not rush. Charge and rally. I see. All right. So I play this first, right? And do this, I guess. And, uh, okay, and then put this on board. I would rather die than see House Redoran dishonored. <coughs> I would rather die than see House Redoran okay. dishonored. And uh, give this to anyone, really? And summon... Summon this back? I'm not... Wait a minute. So, I need to have... No creatures in my hand. Okay. So, I play this. Right? Okay, and an attack, I think. Uh, 
I can just do it. And then play these. And unsummon this. And play this again. And give it the mentor's ring. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will work. I shall prove my right to rule. I shall prove my right to rule. And I, I, I guess I it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy. So let's 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 do it again. It it didn't work. Huh? What am I supposed to do then? I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, okay. I am having some ideas. <clears throat> so this is a certainty. I play this. Right, okay. But then I take it back and I play it again what am I doing I'm not sure just just bear with me here and uh, I play with this I would rather die than see house and do this and play this All right, this is much better. So I play this, this, this. I would rather die than see house redder and dishonored. I would die than see house redder and dishonored. And this. Did I do it? <laughs> we will see, I guess. I think this should do it, right? I think I think I did it. Yep. I even get it to minus. Jesus. Okay. Okay, this was a fun one. This was a fun one. I really needed to think about this. And there we go. One Morrowind deck. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> All right, agent. Let's see if you can use those Dagoth techniques you picked up to get out of this one alive. So you're going to survive this turn? Is that it? I'm just guessing here. Let's see. Yep, survive this turn. So these are, as you can see, breakthrough cards. So this two, these two doesn't help me at all. Well, I can still use this, I guess, but whatever. <clears throat> what does this do? Summon a zero one sheepish Dunmer in the other lane. Give sheepish Dunmer his pants. Okay. We know what this does. What does this do? Feasting hunger. Oh, more hunger cards. I am happy to see these. Summon. You gain one health for each enemy creature. So. I suppose I should play this right now or something. But we'll wait on that. <clears throat> Let's. Yeah, I cannot play all the cards in my hand. As I have guessed. Okay. 
Summon. Destroy a wounded creature. Yeah, we know that. And Servant of Dagoth. If you have a creature with 5 power or more, plus 2, plus 2, and guard. Okay, so I think I see some of the things that I need to do. I need to do... I need to do this first. I could use a little help here. And uh, I need to do this. Right? Hey, hold on a minute now. I can move this to here. Yeah, I think I need to do that. Okay, um... Okay, I think, I think I fucked it up, but... Whatever. I cannot put anything here. I definitely fucked it up. Let's let's try this again. <clears throat> okay. There cannot be a single card over there or it's my loss. So let's try this again then. I have an idea. I do this, all right? And um, do this here, okay? Oh, okay, I did a mistake. Okay, just just hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> bear with me, bear with me. I need to play this first and foremost before doing anything else but then my my plan doesn't work does it so I need to come up with a better plan <laughs> okay <laughs> all right all right all right all right okay so we play this this is guard okay that changes everything this is a guard card. Alright, I might have an idea and this might be a bad idea, but I will try. Mm-hmm. This is most definitely a horrible idea. Alright. Let's give this another shot. <clears throat> I think I'm on the right track with the feasting hunger, but... I am doing something wrong. Am I on the right track with the feasting hunger though? Am I really? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Alright, I think this is a trap now. I think that's a trap. Okay. Just hold on. 
I definitely do this. Right. Pass this over there. I could use a little help here. No, no, this doesn't work. Feasting hunger might not be a trap after all. I am so confused right now. Okay, I think I think feasting hunger is not a trap after all. I have to do this, right? I mean Alright, let's do that. There are ill winds this day. I could use a little help here. Hmm. Nope. <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. But I think I'm onto something. Again. Like I said, for the 500th time today. But now I see that the Dunmer that this thing summons is indeed undercover. So, <laughs> so I will send this to the other lane, give him the stolen pants, and summon something over there. Play the feasting thing here. I think you can see what I meant to do here, but it still failed. <sighs> I think this time this time I have, I've got it. This time I... Oh my god, okay, fine. Okay, okay.
All right, so I ship him to the other side, and I. No, it just doesn't work. Oh my god. Okay, guys, guys, guys. I'm gonna see you in a bit, alright? Hang on here. Alright, guys, I've done it. I did it. But I am going to show you how I did it. I had the right idea, but I don't know why I couldn't do it. I mean, I got so close. You'll know what I mean when once you see it, right? So... You first smuggle this to the other lane, as I did before. You put stolen pants on it, as I did before. And you play the feasting hunger. Then you sacrifice the feasting hunger. And pass the turn. That's it. That's all you gotta do to win. But for some reason, I did everything correctly and then just didn't do it. I, I'm not sure. I, I was so close, though. I was so close. This is how you win this one. So, <clears throat> let's move on to the next one here. Lalo Mastery. Let's see how you learned from the Lalo. This challenge will require your most adroid plotting. I have no idea what this word means. And I'm not going to check it out on Google Translate or anything like that. Mm -mm. Not now, anyway. So, that blinking light means I have little card on my deck. Okay, your deck is empty. Win this turn. So, it tells me do not draw any cards cruel fire bloom I can sacrifice this silence a creature then deal one damage to it okay unsummon a creature in this lane with less power than Kamonaton heavy so I can play this and unsummon that does, is this what that's what this means but do I want to do that is the question because I may want to do this instead you you'll see what I mean right you you, you play this hang on discard your hand then draw three cards. <laughs> this is definitely not a card I should be playing right now because it will definitely kill me. So I'm gonna do it. What? What? It did nothing. I was supposed to draw three cards, you dumbass. What? Whatever. Or <laughs> I, I screwed myself. I knew that was a bad move, but I expected the game to kill me by saying me that I am out of cards. Instead, the game just ignored that I was supposed to draw any cards in the first place. So, okay, game. Okay. <sighs> the game is such a dick sometimes. Okay. So... Let's hit this. Unsummon a creature in this lane with less power than Kamonaton Heavy. So if I play lot this here, can I unsummon that? What? Oh, it has the plot effect. God damn it. Okay, fine. Fine. I get it now. They all have plot effects, so I have to play the Cruel Fire Bloom first, no matter what. Okay, got it. That actually explains why the game didn't kill me, so I can kill myself this turn if I <laughs> if I desire. So this plot effect is really rustling my jimmies here. Just hit this guy, and sacrifice you. 
now I can do whatever I want. So I play this. <clears throat> and hang on. Hang on, hang on. On summon this. And then, and then play this again. What what are you doing, game? Okay. And then, then what? Then I play this. That doesn't seem very smart. No. No, it doesn't seem smart at all. All right, but I have an idea. I think you you'll see, you'll see. So just watch. You just watch, my friends. I have the perfect idea. So <clears throat> I play this. and sacrifice this and this guy just fucking dies don't care and play this guy and hit him and I play this and play this Yeah, the game is really gonna punish me for that one damage here. But you know what? That's a lesson one's gotta learn. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. I need to attack with the North Firebrand before killing it. But you got the gist of this puzzle, I think. We're just gonna do it and move on here. Good game, game. Good game. You're really being a dick. It's uh, it's the game is taking revenge from me for dropping it to minus two while I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, so I do this, play this, play the cruel fire bloom here, and lot of sharp sugar kills this guy. Journey to Savangard. This asshole. <clears throat> All right, this puzzle wasn't so bad. Voila! <laughs> and we are moving on to the next one. Tell one a mastery. Time to see what they thought you in that mushroom tower. Oh, you know the mushroom towers, do you guys? Do you know the mushroom towers? I think you can see that in Oblivion as well, in the Land of Madness. <coughs> I'm not sure where you would find it in Morrowind because I didn't play it. Wind is turn, okay. 11. Oh, oh, of course. Are those skeletons? Yes, they are. <clears throat> so, Cliff Strider. Can't attack your opponent, okay. At the end of your turn, if there are no enemy creatures in this lane, move Cliff Strider. I see. So, I play this. But hang on. Traitors, Flames, Betray. Deal 2 damage to all enemy creatures in a lane. Seems wonderful. And this guy summon a risen dead. Why would I need to do that ever? I don't know. So, let's try this. I play. <clears throat> 
this asshole and get it to happen. So this really doesn't do anything, right? This is interesting. If that works. <clears throat> hmm. I don't I don't know how to do that. All right, all right. I have an idea. Retry this. So, bear with me here. All right, all right. Go on. This is the most annoying part here. So, I play the Cliff Strider on this level. Just hang on. I need to kill this with Ancano, but if I attack it, then I can deal 3 damage here, which will drop him to 8, right? And then I can play Traitor's Flames here which will deal 4 damage to him. Would that be enough? No. Okay. So what do I do then? <clears throat> Give this the improvised weapon. And I deal 4 damage here. Drop him down to 7. Then I can play the Traitor's Flames here, drop him down to 3, but he will still have one more HP to survive on. I do not hit this guy at all, I just kill it, and this one goes into this one, deals 3 damage to the face with improvised weapon and I play traitors flames on this lane deals 4 damage dropping down him dropping him down to 4 still not good enough All right, let's just try something here. I have many important things on my mind. Right. Sacrifice to copy the effect oh my god it had the betray effect oh okay 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 I mean this is not going to work like at all but I understand now I understand okay okay retry it retry it I got it I got it <clears throat> I didn't realize the betray effect this these new keywords are really getting me getting on my blind side you know I just do not realize that there are new keywords in this game. <laughs> Alright, that's fine though. Now I understand what I need to do. Alright. The, the, the bad thing is that this will summon these creatures. Alright then. So, Cliff Strider. Improvised weapon up. Hit in the face. Go with this. Destroy this. Betray? 
this guy and do it here again. That's it. Simple as fuck. If you read the betray text on the card. Alright, that was that. And we are on to the next puzzle, the last puzzle. Seems the gods have taken a shine to you. Show me what they can do. Oh my, okay. Let's do this shit. Chaos. Caius. Chaos. Whatever. Okay. Win this turn. Alright, win this turn. <clears throat> Alma Almalexia. Exalt. Friendly exalted creatures are immune to damage. Oh, okay. Okay. These are these exalted? I'm not I'm not sure. I th I think they're not, right? No. Are these exalted? No, definitely not exalted. Alright. Trigger the exalt. Okay. This is definitely something I need to play, but hang on. Give other friendly creatures in this lane plus two plus two. Deal two damage to a creature. Deal two damage to a creature. So these two are not some cards that I'm supposed to play, I think. Maybe one of them. I can. Alright. Because I think I am supposed to play these two. And this is just a card that's there. Okay, so I play this. Do not exalt it. I play this. And do not exalt it either. And then I play this. So, <laughs> after all, I didn't need to play this at all. Okay, just play it. This is actually insane, by the way. Alright, I am still one damage short, what the fuck. Why am I one damage short? What can I do? I mean, this is obviously something I could play, but th that's that's just no. Or is it no? Hmm. Interesting. Regardless, we are going to retry this. This uh, shiny animation is really nice though. I like it. I like it. <coughs> okay. So, Windstorm got it. You got it, buddy. I feel like I'm supposed to play this, right? Yeah. I think I am supposed to play that. Cancel. So, I can exalt them with this, but... Does it really do any good for me? And I guess I could kill it with this. And then what the?
All right, let's just hit this. That is probably stupid, though. Castle. And do this. I mean, it doesn't really matter now, does it? <clears throat> Look at that. No. Doesn't matter at all. Unless I can... No. Oh my god, what do I do? Okay, what if I... Go with this. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? No. Like, definitely doesn't work anymore. Look at that. It just fucking destroys me. No, that's, that's definitely not the way. All right. I need one more damage, and I have no idea how to get that damage. Great. If I don't play this, I'm not sure. Yeah, the, these definitely do not survive, so I have to basically play this. Right, right. And then what do? Okay, I think I got this. I kill this, right? And then play this. Cancel the exalt. And use this. So now, <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? Oh, God. God, please. This is, this is meaningless. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. I failed again. It is probable that... Okay. You know what? I think I kind of understand now. I 
let me check something and if that's true I'm gonna be slightly mad at myself yeah okay just shut up so I'm just gonna play this first right. okay no 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 just hang on 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 I got this I got this And now I play this. Yep. It's not an exalt ability. It's it's just a straight up ability that these things do not get damaged when it's on the board. Okay. You can really like make this a lot easier by putting exalt three in the bottom of the rest of the text but whatever man I figured it out by myself and we are done <laughs> the biggest uh, hardships that I've faced on these puzzles were the niche mechanics of this game I think Except for this one, that was really hard. So we have some. Oh, 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 oh! There was one more. I'm sorry. Hang on, hang on. I was, I was about to go and uh, do my thingy, but I think we have one more here. What do you want? Great work, recruit. The Empire is lucky to have an agent like you. Okay, continue. Rewards. Oh yes, we get this one right. All right, all right. Nice. <clears throat> did I? I was like, did I open the next one or something? No. No, that that's not that's not possible. Okay, let's open these stupid thingies. Oh, what's this? A Skyrim pack? Pa! That's so six months ago, or was it three months? I don't know. Let's just open these first, and then we can continue on to the new cards. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it, guys? Mammoth Castellan Moonmoth Castellan Put a random guard into your hand, that's interesting Slay, summon a risen dead, yeah we've seen this Ash Berserker, at the end of your turn if you have a creature with 5 power or more draw a card Ooh, oh great, more more card draw for the Crusader Yay, Nick Sound Prophecy, it's a prophecy creature with shackle, huh? <clears throat> Shackle each enemy creature with less power than Nixon. That's actually pretty good. Because it says each. <coughs> this is very useful against token decks, I'd say. Sixth house amulet. If the wielder has five power or more, it gains a ward. Oh, interesting. Lethal and guard, we've seen this too. Let's see if we can get a legendary cross your fingers guys oh we get a house card nice bloodline outcast when a creature dies bloodline outcast gains drain this turn this can be amazing I can see this being very useful but we will review cards later just take a look this is pretty straightforward rally plus one plus one to a random creature in my hand Set a creature's power to one. Ooh, that's a good good action. Uh, it can be used with the what's 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 that thingy? Uh, executor and stuff like that. Spirit knife. 
deal 7 damage to a creature and draw a card. This is insane. What? Holy shit, bro. What the hell? I am surprised by this card. <clears throat> okay. But it is 7 cost, I mean. Sure, but still. 7 damage. Imagine this with like... Ancana or something. Anyway, let's move on. Fighter's Guild Steward. Summon a friendly creature with 5 or more power. Battles an enemy creature. Another battle card. Nice. I like battle cards. If you haven't seen my battle deck, you should check it out on my videos. Oh, I thought this was a new <laughs> new shout. Nope. Plot, yeah, we know. Prison ship. Summon shackle an enemy creature while you have prison ship. So, as long as this is on board, that creature remains shackled. That's pretty pretty interesting. I like it. Grand Inquisitor. We've seen this as well. Deranged Corpus. Corpus. Oh, oh! I just realized we can make an undead deck, which with many more creatures. Yes, is Ash creatures undead though? I'm not sure. The range corpus has plus five, plus zero on your turn. This is pretty interesting. It is really weak though. It can be killed by pretty much everything. <coughs> Bushwhack, a zero cost action. A friendly creature ignores guards and can attack creatures in any lane this turn. Wow. Okay, interesting card. A zero cost action is a pretty good one too. Illusory defenses. Summon a zero five illusory wall with guard in each lane. Sacrifice them at the start of your turn. Hmm. So you summon this. Your enemy takes the next turn, and when he ends this turn, the illusory walls are gone. Okay. Oh yes, we got to be back, boys! <laughs> but hang on. Lower Canton Smith. Equip a friendly creature. Yeah, we have seen this. Ash Oppressor. Yeah, I'm assuming Ash creatures are not really undead. If you have a creature with 5 power or more, shackle an enemy creature. <clears throat> Bettinage. Oh, these things are back. While Betten Edge is in play, your max magic has increased by 2. Wow. I mean, it has no power, but that doesn't mean you cannot buff this card. This card seems pretty good. Dress Spy. Summon the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Alright, pretty classic. Vivek. Exalt. You have... While you have an exalted creature in play, you can't lose the game. Oh yeah, I remember this card. Nick sound, yeah, yeah. We got a legendary, boys. Thank you for crossing your fingers for me. Surround Pound Broker. Put a random zero cost card into your hand. This is a nice addition to market decks. Breakthrough, Dagoth Dagger, another breakthrough item. <coughs> With one cost, pretty good. Poetic Armiger. Armiger? Hmm. Give a random keyword. Exalt one. This card gets a random keyword. Interesting. Cool Law Keeper. Garden Rally. Drain. 1-5 with 2 cost. Interesting. Lalo Othman. If you have a... This card. <laughs> Agility card in play. Gain 3 Magicka this turn. Wow, okay. So this is basically played by free, played for free then. If you have a <coughs> strict card in play, draw a card. Alright. Interesting cards. So guys, um, for now, this concludes our puzzle gameplay of this expansion. Because I'm not going to be buying the next puzzles. I do not have that kind of money, unfortunately. But um, I am going to be reviewing the cards that are released in this expansion. And I will be buying the thingies here. The things here, you see. And uh, I will see you then, I suppose. And uh, see you 
later guys if you like this video feel free to leave a like if you want to see more videos like this you can check out my channel or subscribe for future videos i do these once a week twice a week or some sort of stuff like that and uh have a nice one everybody adigeko out love you